Hey, what's up guys? So, I have been receiving a lot of questions and comments on my video about starving artists. Uh, to be honest, I didn't expect that video to blow up like that. I mean, for a YouTuber with 5k subs, getting 120,000 views is a big blowout for me already. And there's so many questions and requests to do a follow-up video on that. That's why I'm doing this one today. So in this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks and also answer some questions about the meta that I've shown on that video. It's going to be fast guys, so let's begin. First question. I can't see the dropper. Well, there's two possible instances on why you can't see the dropper. First one is you might have accidentally pressed the tab, making the side toolbar hidden. As you can see, if I press tab, it's gone, and if I press it again, it will show up. The second instance is because it's probably hidden behind another toolbar. You see, in Photopea and Photoshop, they have tools that share the same keybind shortcut. So if you press I, as you can see here, the dropper is not showing, and there's no droppers on the sidebar as well. That's because it's sharing the same shortcut as the ruler or the measuring tool. If you check at the icon and you see a small arrow on the lower right, that means there's another tool behind it. So what you need to do is you put your mouse on top of the ruler and hold left click and you will see the dropper. There you will notice they actually share the same shortcut which is I. You can also press Shift I to shuffle between the tools. Next. I can't see the ruler to make the guide. This one is easy, just go to the view, then just click rulers. Also, I have a great tip in regards to this which I will give at the tips and tricks section at the later part of the video, so check that one out man. Next. I can't find the zoom. Well, you can find the zoom button which is the magnifying glass at the lower left toolbar at the very bottom. The shortcut key is Z or C or how you pronounce it depending on which country you're from. Next, how long does it take to make one art? Well, it really depends on what kind of art are you going to make. If it's from photos like the viral TikTokers I did, it will take you about 3 to 4 hours to finish one. That's why you need to price it appropriately to match your effort and time spent. If it's just basic art with about 5 to 6 color in it, it will be a lot quicker. Next, I can't add a background. A lot of people are having this problem but it's actually pretty simple. It only means that you're actually using a wrong image format. You need to make sure that you're using a PNG with a transparent background so you can add the background on your own. For example, this is a JPEG. If you put a layer on the bottom of it and add a background color, it won't appear because the main image background is not transparent. Now, I'll be using the PNG format version of this with a transparent background. And now you can see the background that you added behind it. Next. Can you do this in mobile? To be honest, I haven't tried this in mobile, mainly because I'm using iOS devices and as far as I know, you can't multi-screen Roblox on it. I don't have any Android devices, but if you can find an app that lets you split screen with Roblox in a browser, then I don't see why you can't do this on mobile. It's not going to be easy though because of the screen size, but it is possible. Now I'm going to give you guys some tips. Tip number one. When adding guide, there's actually an easier way to do this rather than doing it one by one. First, go to view, click the add guides, and then make sure this one is set in pixels. Then type 4.5, 9.5, and then it will auto-populate the guide vertically. So you just need to copy it again for the horizontal guide. So easy, right? Tip number two. You can split screen Roblox with your browser easily by doing this. First, select the Roblox window, then hold the window key plus the left arrow or right arrow, whichever side you want the Roblox to be. This will automatically dock your Roblox app to the half of your screen. Now you can do the same with the browser that you're using with Photopea on. Tip number 3. Drag your browser to the side to hide the ads and make your work area a lot bigger. Tip number 4. 
Click the magnifying glass then right click anywhere on the Photopea working area and select fit to area. This will make your image fits perfectly on your working area. So no need for you to zoom in and zoom out just to make it fit. And for my last tip guys, don't abuse this okay, by making a lot of photorealistic image. Even though you know yourself you're not scripting and even live streaming it, people will still doubt you because your painting looks awesome. There's some people who will appreciate it but there's also a lot of people who will feel unfair about it. So do this at your own risk okay. You can still use the same technique and method here in making a simple pixel art that you can sell for a decent amount of robux. The guide system and the hex code trick that I taught you guys is enough to give you guys a nice result even with a simple pixel art. Thank you guys for watching and I hope I did provide you guys with some good information especially from my tips and tricks sections. Make sure you subscribe and smash that like button for more video like this. See you again in my next video guys. Bye!